Life in the modern world has a new anxiety these days. Just as we've become totally dependent on our computers, they're being stalked by saboteurs. Saboteurs who create computer viruses. The Defense Department, universities, and research centers are still recovering tonight from a computer virus that brought a nationwide network to a standstill. One of the institution's hardest hit was MIT. David Boweri reports. It was first spotted at NASA Ames and Rand. It came from California, maybe, traveled by electronic mail. It spread across America. How insidious was this virus? Well, it was, it spread very quickly. There are reports in newspapers today that it has made its way to Europe and to Australia. It arrived at MIT in the middle of the night. The students were safe. Their computers weren't. Just ran. It would enter your machine. It would do its thing. It would go to other machines. At MIT, 200 computers were infected. Across the country, the toll might be 6,000. It could have been worse. We believe it was intended to spread more slowly than it did so that it wouldn't be noticed as quickly, which would actually have been more insidious if it spread out to a large number of machines and, say, held a surprise and did something. Mark Eichen, student and part-time virus hunter. Once we had it stopped, we were able to take it apart, sort of like dissect it and tear it apart piece by piece. But these three processes right here, these three programs, the SH with the parens around them, are, the, are in fact copies of the virus that are running there. It's not really a virus, it's a code, a set of instructions, an act of sabotage that started on a floppy disk. This virus spreads by disk and by telephone. It's just a call away. And like a virus, it replicates like crazy. Look at this, and look at this, and look at this. And as it replicates, the code, the so-called virus, eats up large amounts of memory. It wipes out stored data or cripples the hardware. This virus clogged the system linking thousands of computers, but apparently did no damage. It's benign. It's not malicious. It attempts to do no damage besides propagate itself. And that's why I think it's a warning. The suspect, somewhere, a dark genius. I suspect it's an A student, a good A student. So lost computer time, but no files destroyed. Just a thrill for the virus hunters and a warning. My personal speculation is that this is somebody who is trying to, to, to warn people to say, it can happen to you. Mr. President, we have not even been able to isolate the cause. The virus, if it is a virus, it's like the common cold. It is everywhere, it is nowhere. For the 10 o'clock like news, I'm David Boweri.